Make sure you're on the nice list because Santa's coming to town. This just in on Foxy News. Paw and Order officers received a strange phone call from a little girl. She said that her and her siblings are trapped and her parents are dead and her oldest sister gone. All right, folks, that's all for today. Happy holidays. Uh, wait, don't come in. Come in. You needed us? Oh, yeah. Um, Officer Dane and Officer Tina, I want you on that case about that six-year-old whose parents were killed ASAP. We're on it, Officer Puggle. Just give us all the information you have on them. You sure that's all that happened? Don't leave out any details that you remember, hun. I'm sorry, but that's all I remember happening. My sister locked us in a closet and told us she loved us and that she was sorry and that everything will be okay. How did you get the phone? She gave it to us and told us to call the number 911 in an hour. So what'd you guys figure out about the case? Uh, their daughter, Abby, obviously did it. Trapping... Trapping them, telling them she loved them, and to call 911 after an hour? Yeah, she either did it by herself or with a partner in crime. No, there was no other fingerprints besides Abby's. Why would she kill her mom and dad? It says on their file that he wasn't her biological father. He was their stepdad. I noticed a couple bruises on the kids and the mother's dead body. Look at the dad's criminal record. He has seven different charges of battery. So she beat so he beats on her mom, she gets sick of it, and she takes them out? Yeah, but that wouldn't explain why the mother is dead, too. Well, I guess we'll get more answers when we get Abby into custody. We'll send out a warrant for arrest. Y'all know how fast you were going? No, sir. Son, do you even know the speed limit? No, sir. Uh, no, sir. Well, I have to write you a ticket. What's your name? Mason Ford, sir. What about you, little lady? Why do you need to know my name? He's the one that's getting the ticket. You see, ma'am, I have to check for warrants. Okay, but I'm just warning you, I probably have a warrant now. Do you know what for? No, not really. Then I'll have to check. What's your name? <sighs> Abby Brickle. Okay, let me go check. You are right are under arrest. Tell us, did you or did you not kill your parents? Huh? Don't be a wuss. Just do it. Just do it. Ugh. Abby, I've been calling your name for the pa- What are you doing with my knife? Stand back! Stand back, I warned you! Come on, Abby. You know you're not gonna stab me. Put the knife down. I warned you.
Robert. Robert, did you- <gasps> Did you do? Mom, I had to. He was, he was gonna hurt me. Abby, just put the knife down. Uh, no, b back up. Back up. Abby, you don't want to do this. Abby, put it down. Oh! First of all, I am not the monster that everyone portrays me as. I am just a kid, and was a kid when I committed horrible crimes. Now I'm serving life without parole. My brothers and my three sisters have to live in foster homes because of me, and they have no one else to blame but yours truly. And they should, because I didn't only ruin my life, but theirs too. <laughs> 